Hey there, it's Susan Milner with Florida Future Realty and today I wanted to do something pretty cool, start off a new series. I've had a lot of questions from buyers that are asking like what is the process for buying a home and this is going to be a series great for first time home buyers, also just for regular home buyers, um, even investors because there's certain things that sometimes you don't think about when you start thinking about buying a home. So I want to try to cover it. This series is going to be a 10 part series. This first part today we're going to be talking about the pre-qualification stage. So um, sit back and enjoy and thanks for watching. Okay, so you decided that you want to buy a house or an investment property and you feel fairly confident that you have decent credit and that you should be able to get a loan no problem. The first thing I want you to do is to go talk to a mortgage broker or a mortgage lender and you need to go talk to them to get what's called a pre-approval letter and a good mortgage person will talk to you either on the phone or sit with you and they're going to ask you for your social security, your date of birth, your full name, like if you have um, four different names or you use a middle initial or you don't have one, they're going to want to make sure they have the right person when they do pull your report. So they're going to verify your name and they're going to verify your income and they're also going to ask you about your last two years um, tax returns or income as well. Um, they're also going to want to know how much money you have in the bank. So they're going to pull, take all this information and they're going to tell you, yes, you're approved and you can purchase a home up to set amount. So with that information, then you'll be ready to go on to the next step. Now you may come with um, hurdles. They may say you need to be on the job for six more months or that foreclosure you had three years ago, we need it to be four years before we can get a loan. Or they may say you need more money in the bank because they're going to want to see at least this much money sitting in the bank. Or they may say you're going to need to get a gift loan from somebody. Um, there's a lot of things that could come up. So that is a pre-approval process. The reason why you go with the mortgage broker is because the mortgage broker takes your loan basically package and they can shop hundreds of different lenders around the country and find which one would be able to you know take on your loan so if you walk into just like a big bank they can only offer you the products that they offer but a mortgage broker basically they broker your deal to all different lenders until they find one and a mortgage broker based upon their experience should be able to look at your file and know what lender may or may not take it because we've had many people that have went to even a mortgage broker that just didn't know about a certain lender and they've been denied, denied, denied. We hook them up with somebody different and they get approved because they know exactly where to place it. So that's why if you have any little bitty potential issues with your credit, your income, your savings, anything like that, definitely head to a mortgage broker so that they can find the best deal. Now if you have an 850 credit score and you make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and you know you have lots of money in the bank, you can probably go to a regular bank, although it depends on what you're purchasing because if you're purchasing, say, a condo, a condo there's not a lot of loans out there for because they don't qualify a lot of them. So you're going to be putting 20, 30, 40, 50 percent down even if all those things are great. So make sure that you consider that, whereas a mortgage broker might have somebody that would, you know, let the loan go through with you know less amount down. So anyways, if we can be of assistance at Florida Future Realty, let us know. We do have a lot of um, mortgage brokers and lenders that we work with that we recommend to our customers. And I will see you in the next part, which is gonna talk about fixing credit if you need to. And until next time, 